Good morning, student. It's me, your science teacher from National Papson Kaski. Today, I am here to teach you uh, about your second lesson to continue your second lesson, plants and animals life. In our previous class, we have discussed about the shell. There was the types of shell about the plant shell as well as the animal shell. Plant shell. Those cell which is contains in a plant body is called the plant cell. Those cell which is contains in the plant body which is called the plant cell. We are discussed in our previous class. And those cell which are contains in the animal's body which is called the animal cell. Isn't it? Okay. And we are also discussed about the what definitions of the cell. Cell is called the cell is called the building blocks of a life of n living organisms. Building blocks of a life of n living organisms, which is called the cell. Isn't it? Okay. In the human beings, there is contains the many number of cell to formations of a their body. By combining the cell, there is form of organs or a tissue. After the combinations of a tissue and organs, tissue and organs to form a whole body. Isn't it? Okay, friend. And we are also discuss about the uh, unicellular organisms. Look there. Paramecium. Amoeba. Look there. In diagram. Okay. Paramecium and amoeba are the unicellular organisms. These unicellular organisms, those organisms, we are uh, those cells which cannot be seen by our naked eye. Those cells which cannot be seen by our naked eyes, which is seen by using the microscope. You are able to see in the microscope, isn't it? Please look there. This is the diagram of microscope. Where is the microscope? Tapi oleh microscope dekno batiyo. Okay. By using this microscope to form the small or uh, small, very small or tiny, tiny object to the large one. Isn't it? There were the two types of microscope. First one is simple microscope and second one is a compound microscope. We mostly used to see the uh, cell of uh, different plants and animals to use the compound microscope. That is contains the two Uh, lenses or two lenses. We are already discussed in our previous class. Okay, strain. And also there, there was contains the different parts. Like was first one is cell membrane. Cell membrane is the outer covering parts of a animal cell. Cell membrane is the outer covering layer or outer covering parts of a animal cell. Animal cell. Second one is the cell wall. Cell wall is the thicker, uh, thicker layer of a plant cell or a outer covering layer of a plant cell, which is called the cell wall. Protoplasm. Protoplasm. The living. This is a living material found inside a cell. The living materials which is found inside the cell is called the protoplasma and nucleus. This is the very important part of a cells. Nucleus is a very important part of a cell. A cell cannot functions without the nucleus. Nucleus without the nucleus, cell cannot be functions uh, different activities. Cell cannot do the different activities. So that nucleus is very important for a animal cell as well as in a plant cell. Okay, friend. Next one is back wall. We are already discussed. Back wall is a fluid field. Back wall. This is field with a fluid. Back wall field with a Fluid. Jin animal cell ma, or plant cell ma, contain by a part so, which is filled by a fluid. Just ma, say ki variko unsa fluid contain by a unsa liquid contain by a unsa, which is called the vacuole. And last one is chloroplast. This is the part of a plant cell which contains the green green colored substance. It's called the chlorophyll. Parts of a plants, parts of a plant cell, which have contains the chlorophyll, which is called the Uh, substance which is called the chlorophyll. This color substance is needs for a photosynthesis process. This color substance it needs for a photosynthesis 
process. Do you know photosynthesis process? The process of preparing a food by a green plants, which is called the photosynthesis process. Green plants are the process process photosynthesis process. In the photosynthesis process, there is uh, absorb of uh, carbon dioxide and throw a oxygen. It is very important for surviving a uh, animal's life. Plant lessery throw gareko carbon dioxide animals or liki gareko unsa absorb gareko unsa. Okay, friend. Now we are turns the next topics plants and animal cell. First of all, please look there. Diagram of plant cell. Please look there. Plant cell. What is plant cell? Those cell which are found in a plant body is called the plant cell. Those cell which are found in a plant body which is called the plant cell. And second one is animal cell. Look there. According to our topics, animal cell. Look there. This is the diagram of animal cell. Please don't be confused. See the different parts of a plant cell and animal cell. The plant cell or animal cell are different parts. You can say, okay, it's fine. Uh, under the microscope, plant cell are easier to see. Under the microscope, they in the animal cell. Plant cells are easier to see with respect to the animal cell by using the microscope. You know about the microscope? Yes. Uh, when the uh, micro plant cell is easier to see with respect to the animal cell because the size of a plant cell is larger than that of a animal cell. The comparisons of a plant cell and animal cell, the size of a plant cell is slightly larger than that of the animal cell. Isn't it? Okay, straight. Plant cell are the larger than the than uh, animal cell and they have a cell wall. Plant cell have, have contains the cell wall, but in the animal cell there is absence of a cell wall. Plant cells ruma cell wall contains bio. In the plant cell there is contains a cell wall. Cell walls means the outer covering part of a plant cell. Look there in the diagram. Cell wall is the outer covering layer of a plant cell. Isn't it? Okay, and the uh, the larger size and the cell makes the makes the plant plant cell distinct. The larger size and cell cell wall makes the plant cell distinct or uh, distinct, isn't it? The plant cell ma larger size of a cell wall are contains in a cell a larger size of a cell and the cell wall plant cell are made are called distinct. Okay, so only plant cell have the cell wall. Only plant cell have the cell wall. Cell wall is made up of non-living matters. Cell wall is made up of non-living matter. But cell membrane is made up of living matter. Cell membrane made up of living matter. Animal cell is covered by covered simply by a living cell membrane. Animal cell is covered by a living cell membrane. You don't be confused. Cell membrane are contains in both cell, plant cell as well as in animal cell. Cells are cell membrane contains in both types of cell. Likewise, they are contains in a plant cell as well as it is in a animal cell. Both types of cell as contains the cell membrane. But absence of cell wall in a animal cell. Isn't it? Okay, friend. I hope you are clear about the uh, cell wall and cell membrane. Cell wall is a non-living matters. Cell wall is made by a non non-living matters. But cell membrane is a cell membrane uh, uh, is a living matters or a living cell. Isn't it? Okay, friend. A plant cell has a large vacuole in a plant uh, and also in animals. Both cell has contains the vacuole. See in diagram. Plant cell has the larger vacuole than that of the animal cell. 
plant cell as contains the large size of vacuoles with respect to the animal cell. Isn't it? Vacuoles are the permanent in the plant cell. Vacuoles are permanent in the plant cell, but in the animal cell, vacuoles are the temporary. In the animal cell, there is contains the temporary vacuoles. Isn't it? Okay. Sometimes vacuoles is not found in an animal cell. Sometimes, maybe vacuoles is not found in a animal cell. You are clear? Okay, friend. I hope you are clear about the plant cell and a animal cell. Next one is the chloroplast. Chloroplast is the material which gives the green colors to the plant. Chloroplast is a material. It is a thing which contains in a plant cell. Which gives the green plants to the plant. Chloroplast gives green cloth to the plants. Plant cell have the chloroplast. Animal cell do not have chloroplast. I hope you are clear in this lesson. Isn't it? Okay, student. Now, we are turns the some, some difference. Uh, uh, write the some things and the fill in the blanks. Please write it and try to fill in it blanks. Uh, plant cell. Animal cell. Write it. Uh, write your size. Plant cell, animal cell, fill in blanks. Size. Second one, outer covering. I number, Q number. Outer covering, plant cell, animal cell. Third one. Back hole. Plant cell, animal cell. Chloroplast, plant cell, animal cell. Okay, look here. I have uh, written that one is the column of plant cell and another one is the column of animal cell. And written that size, outer covering, back wall, chloroplast. Please fill in this gap. First one, plant cell size larger. Katrunsa plant cell size larger with respect to the animal cell. We are already told in the plant, plant cell are easier to see by using the microscope with respect to the animal cell. Plant cell are easier to see with respect to the animal cell. Because it, it has contains the larger size, we are already told. Right here, larger, larger is smaller, large in size or large means it only right large in with respect to plant cell, remember it, large size one in other, with respect to Small in size with respect to animal plant cell. With respect to plant cell. Outer covering. Plant cell. Outer covering part of plant cell. Outer covering parts of a plant cell. Cell wall. Cell wall. Isn't it? Outer covering parts of a plant cell is called the cell cell wall and the uh, outer covering parts of the animal cell cell membrane you are clear okay student back wall outer covering parts of, uh, sorry sorry size of back wall of a plant cell larger with respect to or a permanent Larger or permanent? You can write any one. Larger? Size. 
साइज परमानेंट लार्ज इन साइज एंड एज वेल एज इट इज द परमानेंट इन अ प्लांट सेल इन द एनिमल सेल विच इज द टेम्पोररी स्मॉल इन साइज एंड स्मॉल इन साइज एंड टेम्पोररी इज एन इट ओके स्टूडेंट कलर प्लास्ट प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट सेल प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट सेल यस प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट सेल एबसेंस इन एनिमल सेल एबसेंस नॉट फाउंड इन एनिमल सेल फाउंड इन एनिमल सेल क्लियर आई होप यू आर क्लियर इन प्लांट सेल एंड अ एनिमल सेल रीड इट केयरफुल्ली I hope I have completed this lesson so that I am turns to the some ex homeworks from this lesson a lesson to animal cell and a plant cell please write the some homeworks Number one, what is microscope? Number two, what is cell? Number three. Number three. What is what is chloroplast? Number four. Draw the diagram of draw. animal cell the strain i have complete this lessons uh, please complete this homeworks and submit your respective teachers